Welcome back to LearnWire. Today's video, we're going to be having some fun with WordPlay. My subscription, my $50 monthly subscription that I picked up so I could bring some reviews to you guys is ending in a couple days. So I will be canceling my membership and I want to go and use the rest of my words that I paid for. So we're going to have some fun. Uh, so watch to the end and you can see kind of where my uh, heads at where I'm going to go and get some keyword research with writers in. So this is uh, also good for, you know, process flow using all these tools that we're picking up. Uh, Wordplay, obviously, you can uh, sub this out for any AI writer that you have. Um, and I'm going to go and I guess I can show you how I'm going to do some keyword clustering in writers in, which is my favorite feature of writers in is keyword research and their uh, content clustering. And then we're going to continue building out our auto detailing site. So here we go. Uh, wordplay. Also, if you watched my last video on wordplay, uh, the, uh, it was, they were taken down for a couple of days off AppSumo. Uh, they are back. Uh, so they are, there will be a link below if you want to go and check it out or pick up, um, one of their lifetime deals. Uh, they are back on AppSumo. So they were absent for a couple of days and my affiliate manager did reach back out to me. Uh, I actually reached out to her and uh, she did clarify what was going on. There was uh, a breach of terms uh, on WordPlay's um, on WordPlay's end. Uh, they had done something that they weren't supposed to do. So they were taken off for a couple of days, but they are back. They got that uh, fixed and cleared up. And so here they are back on the platform. I don't know how long WordPlay will be there, but one thing remains. Whether I like them or not, and whether I agree with the pricing, people are loving the software. 61 reviews, uh, far more than I thought that they were going to get, and uh, it's um, it's averaging almost a five taco review. People are really liking the software, so uh, that uh, you know that speaks for itself. Uh, you just people are just loving it, and most people talk about the quickness. I do think that they fixed the speed, and we're going to be able to test that right now. So I do think that they fixed the speed. And that they also um, have a uh, high quality output uh, for just pushing a button. Um, and so those are the things that are probably the most attractive to people. So let's jump in. And before we do, I'll just, this review sums it up. If you read this review right here, basically after uh, buying several AI writers on AppSumo, I found this one really does produce a long form uh, format rather than just 15, 20 words spit out by other AI writers at a time. The output is understandable, fairly clear, and around a high school level, reading level. Um, as other reviewers have said, 7,500 words, one code, monthly limit is not enough, and I agree with them. I guess quality output is not cheap. Overall, a real content producer worth your attention. So that pretty much sums it up, and that's kind of about where I, my head's at too. I do think the quality is is worth it. But um, I don't think it's better than other AIs, but the fact that you can push a button and have something done for you that is as good as those other AI writers makes it, um, you know, sought after. Um, I just don't like the, the lifetime uh, pricing and that remains the same. But anyways, let's go jump in real quick. So first, before we go into wordplay, which I'm already in my account right here, uh, we need to go and get a keyword. So we're going to go, I'm going to show you. So what I did was I did some basic keyword research on Keyword Explorer in Writer's End. I typed in auto detailing in Colorado. Um, I've already jumped ahead and done all this uh, yesterday because um, Writer's End, in order to do their keyword, uh, to do their golden keywords for you, um, it can take some time. So here we go. So it, it pulled back um, 200 and something, uh, 255 uh, keywords. And this shows me that this is not competitive because I did a uh, keyword, uh, The I, I keep thinking keyword golden ratio, but basically they're golden keywords in writer's end. Um, and I went in and I did a sort and you can actually move this dot. This is going to be stuff the keywords that have the lowest all in title. So the lowest competition, um, highest probability to rank. And that's where our new sites should uh, stay. But once you get some authority on your site, you can move to by potential value. I'm not going to explain the difference between the two, but um, basically if you have a newer site um, and you don't have any ranking articles and no domain uh, authority, you probably want to stay over here on this site over here. So that's what I did. And I just went with 20. That's, that's fine with me. And it really sorted only about 15 keywords out. So that means that everything looks really, really good. So then the next thing I did was I pushed the cluster button and I went to a level four clustering. And then that brings us to this page over here. And this is what makes this software stand out above any other software that I've seen is that they're going to cluster this and you don't want to, uh, what is it like can, uh, an SEO, like the cannibalization of your pages or your uh, keywords it basically means that under each one of these, if I went to Boulder car detailing and I uh, go and look at all these keywords right over here, 
Uh, all these have to do with Boulder. You wouldn't want to make a page on your site. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You wouldn't want to have nine pages on your site that all have to do with Boulder, Colorado car detailing. The, uh, the way that SEO is done in 2022 is that your page, if optimized well, should be able to rank for all these keywords right here, okay? And this software is telling us that the main keyword that you should title your page is Boulder Car Detailing. And then all these keywords, you could try to uh, add them in. I would recommend adding them in just one time. Uh, something like that, okay? So that is the way the keyword clustering works. It takes all that whole list of 240 uh, 240 keywords and it actually uh, di divides them all up into a really nice cluster so you know that you're you're going to end up having about 40 pieces of content and not 240 if that makes sense so that's why the keyword clustering really comes in handy it's really really good so then what I did was I pushed the export I exported that right and let me go pull that up real quick Okay, so we've clustered our content or our keywords uh, in Writer's End, and then we've exported all those keywords that I just showed you. And now here's what the Excel file will look like. Uh, let me zoom in real quick so you guys can see this. Okay, so we have our project name, uh, the language and the location and the date, and then how many total keywords there were that we clustered. Um, there's a cluster level, it basically um, kind of, uh, uh, Simplified way of explaining it is it how kind of strict do you want to get with um, how confident you want the cluster to be? And they go up to like level seven, I think, and the default is three. So I just took it up to step uh, level four um, and then clustered groups. So we have basically what this tells us right here, this number right here is basically th uh, you can look at that as basically 38 pieces of content is that we're going to need to create 38 pieces of content. And then if we really want to take this out, you could have a total of 81 pieces of content because these right here are the ones that are uh, not there. There wasn't a high um, confidence level or there was no other keywords to cluster inside of them. So they just were kind of solo on their own, probably really small towns in uh, Colorado. So those would be something that we would hit later. Uh, come back and then we would already have our keyword research done because look at all these right here um, and we I probably would maybe not go with Denver in here but um, like Colorado Boulevard car detailing Colorado Boulevard that's extremely specific probably not a good keyword um, because it's on a street inside of uh, Denver but some of these like Evergreen Colorado Woodland Park um, those ones might be uh, might be good right so we'll visit that one later but here's where the clustering comes in and how cool this is so we've got the the clustering and uh, you can see right over here those uh, right here the 38 pieces of content that we need are right here look at column one right here or column a there's the 38 pieces of content that we need, right? Some of them at the bottom over here only have a couple keywords that we need to go after, right? Uh, not as much of a, a cluster. And I, the ones that have a lot more um, keywords are probably more populated, highly uh, more search volume on those keywords um, and so forth. So it makes sense, right? One of the biggest ones is obviously going to be anything Denver, Fort Collins, Colorado Springs. I mean, look at Colorado Springs. It is huge. There's a ton. So that's why you get um, like Colorado Springs is one of the biggest cities in Colorado. So um, that it's going to have a lot of different variations, but it still doesn't mean that you, you don't want to create 23 different pieces of content for Colorado Springs. And that's why they're, that's what clustering is. Um, so we know what we're probably going to title the page would be like this right here. And then you can go in and try to see where uh, you can naturally fit these keywords in after the fact for more SEO. Um, so that's but but this prevents you this basically prevents you from creating from having this giant keyword list and seeing all these search volumes and being like oh do i write an article on that do i write an article like that what this tool is telling us is that we can write a comprehensive uh piece of content on car detailing in colorado springs we can also include mobile auto detailing as a section in there right um, some of these can be different sections and things like that, right? So uh, that is where we're going to go and start plugging some of these into WordPlay. Uh, so right here, yep, car detailing in Colorado Springs, car detailing in Colorado Springs. So I'm going to make a list real quick. I'm going to pull up a notepad and I'm actually going to grab some of these. Let's just do 20 for now. On this first test, we're going to grab the first 20. I'm going to copy those and put them into a notepad. And then I'm going to clean this up real quick. 
All right, so I've got this list cleaned up over here and we've got 20 pieces of content, right? All different cities and we're gonna say copy and we're gonna come back in over here. Let's go into wordplay now. So I'm gonna go right into here. And one thing that you could do is you could take it one of the keywords and you could actually go, um, let's see, I'm gonna take the, let's say auto detailing Durango, for example, I'm gonna say copy that. I'm gonna go into rank IQ real quick and I want to see what rank IQ says about this keyword. And uh, this one's not going to be in the library. So I'm going to go ahead and just paste that one in and say run new report real quick. And we'll be back in just a sec. Perfect. Okay. So we're in auto detailing Durango rank IQ says we only need 176 words. So if we go with the 500 word or even 250 word, we're going to be good. You don't need a lot of content to rank for like local keywords like this that are very specific. Um, and so here you go. That just gives us an idea that we don't need 2000 words. You can't really talk 2000 words about auto detailing in Durango, right? So really cool. Just wanted to get an idea of what we're looking at. We're going to go into wordplay. Now I'm going to say create content and inside of here, what we're going to do is we're going to go into AI mode right here. We're going to take our 20 um, articles. I'm going to say control copy into notepad. We're going to go here are the article titles. Boom. And this is what is probably very attractive about this software. This is our articles. It's going to go out and create for us. I'm going to say that this is first 20 and I'll just copy that same uh, right there. And then what we're going to do is just push submit. Boom. This will be a good, and it's going to say that we're going to use. Okay. So one thing that I'm not liking about this is that it's not uh, letting us select uh, that we like 250 words or uh, 50 words. And that is kind of, uh, I wish that they had that feature earlier. Um, they did some updates to the software. I believe you got to select. There was a drop down that said, um, how much content do you want per article? And right now it looks like it's just going to create a thousand word article for every one of these. Um, I don't know how the software, we're going to see what it comes back with, but I don't know how you're going to be able to talk about some of this stuff um, for even a thousand words worth. Uh, but we're going to see, this is testing. I'm using my, my you know, words uh, before canceling the subscription. One thing that Article Forge wins on um, is that you have a lot more things that you can control before you push the button. So it's going to use 20,000 words to create these 20 articles, even though we don't need as long of content. That's okay though. So we're going to say confirm. And we're going to see how long this actually takes. It's 10.05. Let's see how long it takes uh, for it to create. Now, there'll be a check mark right here, a green check mark that comes up right here automatically when it is finished. We'll come check that out in a minute. I'll be right back. All righty. So it has been 10.05. So it's been uh, 12 minutes and we don't have any article indication that it's complete. Not one article is done. And this is one of those things where sometimes you log in if it's late at night and you can get an article done in literally 12 seconds. If you try to use wordplay during the day, uh, you're going to have to wait for your articles to complete. That's just something you're going to have to get used to. That's something that I don't like. Uh, I'm not willing to spend $400 on a lifetime subscription to a software that when I click a button and it doesn't work. Um, so this is something that's very frustrating. I'm trying to do a video for you guys and I can't complete my video. I'm going to go ahead and have to push pause and we'll see if I come back. I just wanted to show you the output of the articles. Um, but actually what I'll do is I'll just come back over here. For those of you, uh, we did this same kind of exercise um, earlier uh, with Arizona. And this is what uh, a batch of articles look like. So I did 17 articles right here for Arizona. I'm just going to push view and you can see all these ones right here. So we'll just go and look at this. And this is what it's going to look like. Um, it's pretty good uh, content car paint correction <clears throat> it keeps talking about scottsdale arizona so it's actually um optimized for that keyword it's talking about stuff that's real close to scott there's scottsdale again um we can come down here scottsdale arizona again and so forth right so it actually does a pretty good job and that's why people are giving this a five star they just really like the content and come look at some of this stuff sedona we got sedona right there sedona in the h2 tag um and then let's see right here, uh, right here, uh, it's, you're definitely going to have some, uh, AI issues. You definitely want to read through because right here, now we're talking about the, uh, Kia Sedona, but this is actually a city that we're talking about. So we would definitely need to fix that. Let's go, uh, Lake Havasu right here. That's very specific. It didn't do a very big article, but Lake Havasu, let's see if we have some more over here. <laughs> Lake Havasu right there. 
and there you go. So decent on that. Um, I'm going to come through here. Goodyear. We've got Goodyear in the title. And now five reviews of mobile. So I wouldn't, I would change that title. Um, doo -doo -doo. There's Goodyear, uh, like right here. So as you can see, it does a pretty good job um, with creating uh, content uh, very quickly for you. Surprise there. Sometimes it does really well. So some of those articles weren't the greatest, but most of the time it's pretty good. Auto detailing services, Surprise Arizona. You've got Surprise Arizona right there, Surprise Arizona right there, Surprise Arizona uh, again. So it's it's going to be very SEO optimized and it goes through and mobile talks about mobile detailing, which is pretty popular in most of these uh, with most of these keywords and so forth. Crystal Clear Detail is a is a specific company in Surprise Arizona. So it does a pretty good job. Just wanted to show you guys that because I'm not able to see the articles. They're still not done after. Um, 15 minutes right now this might take an hour or more and i'm not going to wait so that's what i'm doing right now um, i just use 20,000 words and i don't think i have much more words to use in wordplay this could be my last video showing you guys wordplay you guys can go and pick it up it's still available and it does have good reviews and such if you need a software where you can just one click push a button um then i would i would do something like this if you're, especially if you're going to do batch or uh it doesn't it sounds like it seems like you're in a queue. So even if I did one article right there, it probably wouldn't be done right now because that's the way it worked before. You're in a queue and that means that there's a lot of people that are using this system right now. But I just don't like that. Any other AI writer, um, I get to see the content created right in front of me. And so that's something that they still need to fix. So this showed you right right in front of you, live right now, July 1st, 2022. Uh, they do not have their speed fixed. Um, I just, it's 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 it can be very frustrating. Um, but if it's something that you guys are looking for, go ahead and go check it out. I'll see you guys in the next video.